What is going to be today? We're back with a brand new 2 in 1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 114 Elia Dragunov and Tommaso Ciampa figures. Now, one thing that I actually noticed yesterday that didn't even cross my mind is that we are already on Elite 114, and Elite 113 completely skipped my mind. I could not believe that Jay and Jimmy and Elite 114 arrived before Elite 113. So that wave should be on the way. I think it did arrive at Ringside Collectibles, so maybe next week we can get those reviews started. But today we're back with Elia and Tommaso Ciampa. No strangers to the Elite line. We have had figures of both of these guys before. Tommaso Ciampa has quite a bit. He even has his own ringside exclusive. And Elia we saw back in Elite 96 with a pretty solid figure. But I think this one is a significant upgrade and we're going to get into it. Of course, today we're going to dive into all the different comparisons and stuff, man. But if you want these figures already, you like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But of course, we're going to dive into it, man. Elia Dragunov looking pretty good up front right there. Definitely a lot better, I think, moving into this figure compared to his Elite 96. I just think this is a lot better likeness. It's a lot better totality of a figure, and we're going to get into all the different stuff here. And also, I want to ask, do you like the current main Elite Line packaging? I'm really not the biggest fan of it. I, I just don't really care for it that much. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it's because it doesn't have a full window, and that kind of throws me off of it. But here's both figures' shots there. you got the yellow and blue looking pretty clean there. We're going to dive into all the different things. You have a shot of both gentlemen there, and then on the back, we do have a shot of both gentlemen there with the promo build there and the rest of the figures in the wave and on the other side you just get their names nothing too crazy there but nonetheless man if you want to grab these you can do so over ringside collectibles use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent but i'm getting the hell out man let's crack these guys out of their packaging find out what they're all about and see how these compare to the rest of our collections so here's the Elite 114 to also Ciampa and Elia figures out of their packaging. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Of course, we're going to dive into the details, find out what they're truly all about. But one thing that this figure kind of reminded me of is this fur jacket or entrance robe that we have on Elia. I feel like a lot of people used to praise that Elite 4 Morrison. But I don't think, maybe it's just because of the time frame that it came out. But I remember the Elite 4 Morrison getting a ton of praise for its cloth goods. And we've had similar cloth goods come out over the years. But it doesn't quite hold that same illustrious lore that the Elite for John Morrison had. Am I wrong on that? Is that a hot take? What do you guys think? I love the Elite Four John Morrison. Don't get me wrong. I think it's the best figure out of that set, and it is a legendary figure. But maybe am I is am I correct in my assessment? Is it because of the time frame when it came out? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But what we're gonna do is dive into Champa's accessories and Champa, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Ilya's accessories and the figure himself. So getting into Champa's accessories, man, you get cloth goods and two pairs of interchangeable hands, similar to what we saw with Jey Uso, and pretty similar to what we saw with Jimmy Uso. So what's funny enough about this vest is it reminds me a lot of the Top Picks Logan Paul vest. Very similar. It's got that tablecloth style feel to it here with DIY. You have the same logos of Ciampa going on. Blue stripes, gray, black, and yellow. Very nice color scheme. You got the hexagon pattern on the back. You get the Ciampa logo with the skull and the bald head there, which is a very sweet logo. I think they did a good job there. Just overall a really nice accessory, and it fits the figure pretty well. And no bendy wire in it or anything, but I think you're going to like the accessory. It's a very nice one. I, I like it a lot, and it has that smoothness and feel to it. Very nice. Very quality. I don't think you're going to dislike this. I think you're going to enjoy this, this vest quite a bit. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands. The right hand does have black hand tape with a black peg, which is nice. And then you do get the hand shaking Johnny Gargano, funny enough style hands. The Ricochet Kawhi Leonard style hand shaking entrance hands with the right hand tape in black with the black peg as well. So getting into Elite 69 Ciampa. No, it's not Elite 69 Ciampa, but it looks like it. The head sculpt is pretty much identical to the Elite 69 Ciampa. We'll get into that when we compare the two figures. And it much looks like the ringside exclusive as well. But if you go down to the torso, looks pretty good. I am getting a little smudge here. A little bit more chest hair than I bargained for there. But you do have the Randy Orton Finn Balor style torso here. Bigger arms. This is the Elite 105 Johnny Gargano arms that I'm talking about when I talk about those. They're slightly different than the Seth, the Seth Rollins mold. Black wrist tape looks good. All this looks good though. I am glad to have this, you know, formula. It's a good formula for Ciampa. I just wish they didn't use these skinny legs. But you go down, he does have the tights. Belt design looks good. The silver and the black. You have the blue and yellow all going around the DIY on the side there. On the other side, you get that same Ciampa logo skull. And then on the knee pads look good as well with the blue, yellow, black, and silver. Very good color palette here on this. I think all of this looks really, really good. But I will say, I, I wish they used bigger thighs. I think Bobby Roode thighs or Dolph Ziggler thighs would look better for Ciampa. But I don't hate it. I guess 
Kese does get the job done for the most part. He isn't the biggest guy of all time, but I mean, he's like over 200 pounds, man, and I know the guy puts in work, and I'm glad they at least, you know, credited him on the torso at least, but going down into the tights, it all looks good here, all this color palette and stuff. Now, this is something about the figure that is new. You have the black boots, and one thing I'm noticing about these, which we'll get into in just a moment, is the articulation, but these boots are the newer sculpt compared to the older sculpt, which we'll get into, but this figure does feel pretty quality. So for this figure, if you see it just standing here, it looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks super quality. It looks like it has a good, firm, quality, aesthetic figure right here. I think everything looks pretty together. It doesn't look like any scaling issues, and maybe that's, maybe he doesn't need the Bobby Roode thighs or whatever, but you do get the tight waist here, good ab crunch, head sculpt is good on articulation. You get full bicep rotation, full rotated shoulder here, double jointed arms. All this feels very quality, and he is on ball joints. Kick forward is there. The split is there. The other as well, so you don't get any of that rock back and forth that we hate. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. He is pin joints. We get pin joints. No pinless joints, so you do have that. You have the new boots, so you are going to get this new ankle rotation, so the ankle pivot is insane because of this, and it has created this issue where they kind of feel a little bit loose, and they're a bit big, but I do want to get into some comparisons so you guys can see between all the different Champa figures, so you can kind of make your decision based on what you would like to do. So for your Elite Champa figure comparisons, you have the ringside exclusive singles NXT champion sort of style Champa, and then we do have the Elite 69 Champa with some different claws goods on it. And all three of these figures are very, very good. I mean, the new one is really good. The ringside exclusive is very good. And the Elite 69 was a damn good figure when it released as well. I don't really think you can go wrong with any of these Champas, and all of them share the exact same head sculpt for the most part. They're painted slightly differently, but everything else is pretty much, I mean, I don't know if I'd go. The Elite 69 was great for the time, but if you want a more updated version with double jointed arms, I would go with rather, you know, what, you know, either the ringside exclusive or the Elite 114 here, which I don't know, man. I guess it comes down to just what gear you want, but the boots are slightly different. I can guess I can go with the most recent here. So you guys can see the feet are definitely bigger here, and they, you know, they are a bit wider when it comes to the black boots, but they are a slightly different sculpt. And then these head sculpts, I mean, dude, they are the exact same head sculpt. There's not really any differences between, between, you know, besides paint apps. But another thing I want to do is get the Elite 69 out of here, and I want to bring in the Elite 105 Johnny Gargano. So, I, I mean, I guess you could tag team these guys here. If you wanted to put these guys together, I think you could do it. I know he has red in his gear, but I'm sure an elite Johnny Gargano is probably coming down the cuff. If I had to guess, you're probably going to get a Gargano that matches this one very soon, I might add, but it is cool to see this chump. I think they did a good job on it. So getting into Elia's accessories, man, we do get quite a bit here. You get a little bit more than you get with Champa, which is always a nice bonus when you get more with other figures. And I think the best accessory has to be his robe here. And when you compare this robe to his Elite 96 robe, it's got a lot more going on. It's got the faux fur. It's got this little shoulder piece coming over the top. It has a nice pattern on it. It's a lot better than his Elite 96. I mean, look at the pattern that you're getting in here with all this. It looks very high quality. It looks very premium, you know what I'm saying? The black fur looks good and everything like that. And again, you do have this kind of wing coming over the top there, which is nice. Sewn on there nice. Fits the figure well and hugs it tightly. So all of this looks very good. You know, Mattel has been crushing it in the cloth goods. And I wonder if changing factories had any effect on that. If it has, haven't really noticed it. Haven't really noticed that in any capacity to me, to my knowledge anyway. So we will get into that. But this is a very nice accessory. I like the cloth goods here and this robe is very damn nice. Outside of that, you do get an NXT championship. You do have the kind of highlighter red or orange and blue going on right there which kind of ties it in and, you know, designs nicely. We've seen this before. It's nothing new, I don't think. I do believe we have seen this championship before in the main elite line. To my knowledge, we have seen this before and it's not anything crazy but you do get an NXT championship which is always quality to see. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands but one thing that's weird is his right hand has kind of a choke slamming hand and then his left hand is a mic holding hand which I feel like you don't really get an interchange. You know, it's not usually one or the other. You usually get both mic holding or both choke slamming. We also get the Randy Orton hand treatment right here with the entrance hands. And when I plug these into the figure, they were very loose, so be careful of that. But you do get the Randy Orton entrance style hands, or you can put these on his waist too, but this is more of, you know, doing your entrance. And last but not least, you do get the pointer fingers of the We The One hands. You know what I'm saying? Because Elia is part of the bloodline, but you do get the pointer fingers to point at people and tell them to shut the hell up. So getting into Elia starting off the head sculpt, it is a brand new head sculpt, and it looks so much better than his last one, man. I mean, my God, look at this difference right here, man. This one looks so much better. It's not even quite like, who the hell is this guy? I have no idea who that is, man. This one is so much better. It's not even close. But everything else is virtually the exact same. You're getting the same Finn Balor, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins style torso. You have the Elite 105 Johnny Gargano arms in here, which are a little bit longer, I feel like, than the standard Seth Rollins mold. And then the trunks, you are getting the black with the red and kind of maroonish color. And then on the back, it does have the letters there.
there, and I have no, I want to say it says unbreakable, but I could be wrong there. I could be completely mistaken, but the gear is virtually the exact same as well. It's just a slight different color palette. Kind of a repaint of the Elite 96, but it does have a better head sculpt is kind of what... Like, I, I mean, I just feel like this figure is such a better upgrade than the last one, and he has pin joints, so he's not going to be pinless. He's not going to be super stiff, and then he even has the shorter boots, but they're in red and black, so... And you, not even to mention, you get the black socks in there, which is an underrated detail that really adds to the figure, I feel. I mean, this figure is just really good, man. Just a good, solid iteration here, and one that, you know, I always talk about, you know, mimicking the character that I see on my TV. This does a really good job of capturing that, and that's really a lot of all we ask for when it comes to our action figures, especially when it comes to wrestling. Now, when it comes to the posability, you're not going to have any issues here. Tight ab crunch, tight waist. All this feels buttery smooth. He's on ball joints. He has the classic legs, so, you know, he's going to be able to kick forward very nicely. He can split. You get the thigh cut. You get the double jointed knee. And again, I think a lot of people are going to be like, well, we're not having any of those issues that we were seeing. But I think it's because of the pinless joints, man. I think when you get the pinless joints is where you run into issues. That's where you get that newer stuff, that newer technology, the newer molds, and it kind of Fs everything up. But right here, you're dealing with a lot of the older stuff, and it really shows on the quality. It just feels really, really nice. Boot cut right there. This is not the new shoes. This is the old shoes. So that's probably why it feels pretty quality or it doesn't feel as loose. This figure overall just feels super tight in the hand. It's just a really solid foundation of an Elia figure. But again, if you want to get into a comparison, here's the Elite 96, and this figure is just an upgrade in every way. I mean, I don't really know how you would ever prefer this version over this version over here. Better robe, better head sculpt, better everything. Just better. My my life's better. My salary's better. I'm better. You're you're nothing. So I, I like this one a lot more, man. I mean, this is a great figure. Overall, just perfection, really. I mean, I, I, re I, don't, I don't like to say perfection, but damn. I mean, I, I don't really know how you get better than this. Now, one thing I will say between the two is I think that Ciampa is supposed to be 5'11", and Elia is supposed to be 5'10", and it's like they made Elia 5'11", and Ciampa 5'10", so Ciampa is a little bit short here, but I mean, I don't know, it's not the biggest deal of all time, but it's definitely something worth noting if you guys are going to want to talk about that. That's definitely something worth noting here, as you can see here. He is a little bit too short. I, I think that they need to upgrade his size, but maybe adding those bigger thighs that we talked about, maybe that would help him, but that's definitely something worth noting about the Ciampa figure, is he's probably a little too short. But at the end of the day, I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 114 review of Ciampa and Elia Dragunov. Man, I had a ton of fun with these figures. I think that they're very good. Easily a big upgrade for Elia. We'll start off with him. Much better head sculpt here. I will say my once I changed out some of the interchangeable hands, hands did get a bit loose on me. But outside of that, everything else is an improvement over the last figure. The robe is better. The head sculpt is much, much better. I like the gear better. It's just better of overall. I don't really know how you could really fight it. it. It's just a much better figure. And not that his last figure was bad, because I thought it was very poseable. It was very good in its own right. But this one is much better. This one is definitely better. It was a significant upgrade, or I guess it was an upgrade. And you know, that's all you can really ask for, figure to figure between talents. You know, guy comes out in Elite 101 or whatever, and then, you know, his Elite 106 figure gets better, or whatever the case is. The next time we see that character again, hopefully if it is just a repaint, whatever it is, hopefully it will be a better improvement on that figure. And that's what we have here with this Elia figure. As far as the Ciampa goes, it's very similar to the Ringside Exclusive. If you already have the Ringside Exclusive, you may want to just keep it. It does have a really good head sculpt in Elite 69 Ciampa. That is the, I mean, it's, it's essentially what it is. It's the same head sculpt they've used across the board, and it's a damn good head sculpt. I don't really know how you beat it, to be honest, but I like it. The only thing that is different between this Ciampa and the Ringside Exclusive is the new boots, the new boots and feet, which, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with it so far. I think it's going to be a learning curve deal. I think that so far, what I've seen from these new boots is they're a bit loose. They seem to be a little bit loose rather than what they used to be, but I still enjoy it. I am, you know, getting to know the articulation, how it feels in hand and everything, and they do look a bit big, you know, at certain angles. It's not like a, a huge deal breaker or whatever, but I certainly think that it's it's definitely serviceable. It's something that you gotta call out because it is definitely there. It's something you can notice, but I like the cloth goods. I like the gear. It's a solid Ciampa. If you guys don't have a Ciampa, this is a really good Ciampa, and I think that up next to even the Elite 69 and his ringside exclusive, they're very similar. Similar. I think you're just kind of debating gear at that point. But the ringside exclusive in this one, I think I'd take this one slightly because I like the gear better. But damn, that ringside exclusive one is really good, man. I guess it kind of depends on if you want babyface Chompa DIY or you want kind of a singles run heel Chompa. It's kind of what it comes down to, I guess. But I like both figures a lot. If you guys want to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate it. As always, man, you guys are unbelievable. But before we get out of here, I do want to give a huge shout-out to our Patreon members. And we had a new sign-up just the other day that I want to give a huge shout-out to. And that's going to be a huge shout-out to my man, 
man. Mr. Tang's World 74, man. Huge shout out to my man over there. Thank you so much, brother, for the support as always. And a huge shout out to our new Patreon member sign up, man. Appreciate you, brother. But I'm getting the hell out. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>